guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Yasmin. Today I'm doing a shoulder workout for you. Today I'm actually gonna do my workout a little bit different for you. I'm actually gonna speak directly to you rather than doing voice separately when I'm editing. Um, that way I, can, I just wanna explain to you some of the exercises that I'm doing and why. First of all, I train split training and that means that I split body parts into days of the week, such as one day I'll do shoulders, or the next day I'll do biceps, triceps, or I'll do a bigger muscle group such as back with then triceps. Usually I keep legs as a separate, and a day specifically just for like legs and glutes, or I'll separate a day again with just hemis and glutes because it's such a large muscle group. And then when I work at the repair process or an energy process which works out over a certain period of days, I can work at the calorie intake in which I'm eating over those days. Certain trainers and certain have different ways of doing things, like they'll do whole body training or upper body, lower body part. I do what is called split training. So when you're following my channel and you're watching my videos, I'm isolating each like body part for a certain days of the week. And it's really how a lot of people who are competing um, and bodybuilders and everything, that's how we train. And I'm not a bodybuilder. I was in comp prep before, like many years ago. and. I decided like later, I just wasn't happy when it came to the dieting part and it was something that I loved doing and I loved it but when it came to dieting because I love food so much, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is just, I'm not happy anymore. But it's still something that I've continued into the way that I still train my body. It's a really, it's a much better way I find to create a better symmetry of the body because you can really shape the body better. Now, I usually do shoulders on their own. Occasionally, I'll do shoulders with arms and I try and do shoulders twice a week. This is for me and my body and my symmetry and this may be different for you and your symmetry. When you're following my videos, I also really recommend that you do see a trainer um, and you get a program that's done specifically for you. So the reason I do my shoulders twice a week is I used to be a swimmer. So my triceps especially and my biceps, I really don't need to train them very much at all. They're just like that the way that they are. Even if I just not train them, I mean, I would lose a lot of strength in them, but I really just don't go hard with them at all. So usually when I do my biceps and triceps, I'm really just not training them hard enough at all and it's because I don't want my biceps and triceps to end up bigger than my shoulders um, because that will just make a really, I'm going to say ugly, symmetry. There is nothing, I mean there there is actually one thing that's much uglier and that's when people don't train their legs and their upper body is way out of proportion to their bottom half, like that is super ugly as well. But another thing that is super ugly is when the biceps, triceps are bigger than the shoulders, like that is just ugh. So because I'm genetically, and from my former sports and everything, and swimming, I have bigger biceps, triceps. I really try and just, I don't really work them hard at all. And I try and do my shoulders once, uh, well I need to do them once a week at least, but I try to do them twice a week. And even on the second time that I do them, I'll usually combine it with a leg session as well. Now with my shoulders, because I'm currently not training at the gym, I'm doing it at home. I am a little limited from what I am able to access as far as equipment is concerned, but I can still make do with what I have, which is two dumbbells. Now these dumbbells, as I've said, I have no idea really what the weight is because to me, it doesn't make sense. These were gifted to me. Um, so I didn't buy these myself and the weighting in them, these are Adidas in America. I don't know. You say Adidas or you say Adidas. Like, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean? So they have 0.5 there, 0.5 there, 0.25, 0.25, which would equate to 1.5. But I can tell you what, that's more than 1.5 kilos. This is definitely more than a three kilo dumbbell. Like, so for me, I don't really know what the weighting is. I thought these were eights, and to be honest, they feel like eights, but I don't, that to me, the numbering on it doesn't make sense. But what I do with these also is, um, what I've done in previous videos, is I pull these apart and I make these into lighter weights because some of the exercises that I do, such as a straight arm lateral raise going up, I really need a lighter weight for that. I am not strong enough that way to use that for weighting in there. So if you're going to get yourself a pair of dumbbells and you want something that is more versatile and you want one pair, I really don't know like how old these are, but these are really awesome. 
if you want, like instead of buying a whole bunch of different weights, if you just get like one set for home that has different strengths in there and you can modify it. Today's a shoulder day. I kind of feel, I love training shoulders. Like probably my favorite day is obviously leg. As you know, I talk about that quite often. And I love training shoulders as well. I don't know, there's just something satisfying about it. Probably back is probably my least favorite to train. And my back is also genetically gifted as well, simply because I was a swimmer and I'm kind of doing okay even without the gym. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on to today. Now I'm gonna start off with doing some rotational shoulder presses. Now a rotational shoulder press is when I'm starting off here, but then I'm making, I'm twisting my shoulders and so they point up. That makes sense. So I'm starting off with that. Now I'm going to do eight. I'm going to then have a rest for about 30 seconds. In between that, you can use your watch, you can use your phone to time it, or you can just like kind of guess in your head. Some people get really lazy, like and I'm guilty of that too, is going on my phone and then like watching stuff, like, I don't know, or texting or whatever, and I go longer than 30 seconds, but try to only do a 30 second rest. So I'm gonna do eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna have a 30 second rest and I'm gonna stretch in between each set. So I want you to repeat that three times. Now I'm gonna go onto a different shoulder press and that is really going to work the front of the shoulder or the front deltoid. Now we're gonna go up to the front here straight on like that and do eight of these. One, two, three, six, seven, and then have a stretch in between. Now, if you can't do eight repetitions, then you just do as many as you can with the weights that you have. Then I'm gonna repeat that again. Now I'm gonna do some lateral raises. With your lateral raises, you can do them kneeling down if you so wish, or you can do them standing up. For all goods and purposes, I've just been for a long walk today, so I'm just doing them kneeling down. So I'm gonna start off like so. We're gonna lift our elbows up. This actually works the rear deltoid muscles. Now you might find this a really awkward movement to begin with, but you will get used to them. Do as many reps as you can. Try to aim for eight. I used to hate doing these, and now I like them. <laughs> and then make sure you do your rest. Have a drink of water, a stretch, and do three sets of these. I'm gonna go on to some lateral raises, but different kind of one. These ones are gonna be bent over like such, and we're going to lift up the arms this way. That move will also work the upper back muscles on the inside here as well, but it will also work the rear deltoid and a little bit of the triceps. Find with me, and my rear delts need more work than probably the front, and so I often work them a little bit more. Also, in comparison to my tricep, because my tricep is genetically big, so I do a lot more rear delt work as well. So what I'm doing here, so I'm slightly hip, feet hip width distance apart. You can either do this as one arm, so you put your leg quite further out, lean forward, and then raise up, down one down and then you alternate to the other leg and do as such. What I'm doing today is I'm doing it with 
two arms, so two dumbbells. And a stretch in between. And repeat that three or four times. Then to make sure I'm working the opposing muscle, I'm going to be doing an upward row to push out, down, and then followed by a frontward raise. I'm doing these one arm at a time, but you can also do them doing two arms at a time. Um, this is actually a superset because an upward row can be one exercise, a Upward row is one exercise, and then to push out is kind of another. So this is a superset, so you are doing extra work. If you don't feel comfortable doing this much, you can do each one individually, and you'll do upwards row, either kneeling or standing, doing upwards rows with two arms. But what I'm doing is more of an advanced kind of a move. So we're gonna do upward row to push out, down, and then up, one arm at a time. Make sure, of course, you stretch, you drink some water in between and do three sets of each of that exercise. We've got our very last exercise for today and this is just a simple rotation here. You'll probably find you can do a lot more repetitions doing this exercise. Try not to go up your weight, just keep it at the same weight that you're comfortable with and do more repetitions if you need to. You can also do this using a cable. Look, I do find that using a cable is a lot harder than doing this with dumbbells. Try to keep your elbows in towards your torso and don't move them, just move your forearms. Make sure you stretch and do three sets of this, please. Now I want you to do it to have, is have a post-workout meal. And now your post-workout should always consist of protein and some carbohydrates. Now if you're doing some very light exercises, you're just starting out, you haven't done something really, really heavy and intense, I want your carbohydrate to be something low in sugar, such as an apple. If you are going really hard out and you're using super heavy, and of course I always want you to have your technique better before going heavier, then you can have something of a higher carbohydrate carbohydrate such as some rice for instance but make sure your post workout and you need to have your post workout within 30 minutes of completing your exercise for me today I'm going to have some protein balls that I've already made and they have in their cocoa protein some carbohydrates in the form of some dried fruit as well as some oats this is okay for me but you have something lighter if that is for you something lower in sugar could also be berries or cherries I also make a whole bunch of these in my videos now it's kind of like a latest and greatest like thing that I've got into is making balls of different kind of balls. So if you really like this video and you'd like to see more, please remember to give me the thumbs up, the subscribe and the bell notification and we'll see you next time.